Thanks here. Keontae. Okay. 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 Keontae, finished another game with the lob. Was was that one that was kind of called out of the timeout this time? Um, yeah, it was definitely a play call that we run. Um, it was like that's the second option for the lob. The first one was for me to like, catch on the wing. But I, f I told Keith, Jalen Wilson going to overplay it, so I was going to spin off of it, and he just threw it. And I had to make a play off of it right there. And Desi, you had a really big game, but a really big first half offensively. What did you kind of have working for you this time? I just felt like I'm nothing without a guy, but my teammates found me early. They told me just believe in my work, trust in my work, and just be go out there and be the dog that they know I am. And I just felt like I was out there doing, doing what I was doing tonight. Uh, I feel like we did a good job physically. Um, Jalen Wilson got to the line, great player, got to the line a lot. And I feel like that took us back a little bit, just trying not to foul, but still play aggressive. And down the stretch, I feel like we played aggressive and we ended up getting the game when it stopped. Keontae, how do you manage your emotions with the environment? Um, I mean, it's a quick turnaround. We play again Saturday, so we just got to know when to, hold on, here go Keith, y'all. <laughs> but now we just got to know when to, um, when to celebrate, like Coach gave up, he said we got today to celebrate, and then tomorrow it's an off day, so just come in, get treatment, stay focused, and just we got to go on to the next because we play them again. It's like you were playing a lot with your back to the basket in the second half. Was there a game plan with that, with you posting up? Um, just trying. We knew they was going to double with their big man, so I was just trying to facilitate and look for the open players, or if I could feel like I could take Wilson, just got to take him to the basket. And then do you feel like this is one of the better defensive teams you played this year? Um. Yeah, I mean, I feel like Oklahoma State was up there, definitely. But yeah, yeah, they are. And then Marquise, uh, what did they do to slow you down in that first half? Um, they were switching a lot. They was uh, trapping some of my ball screens, so I had to uh, make the pocket pass a lot more. Um, but you got to give a lot of credit to them. I don't know if these guys said it, but I mean, that's a really good team, um, you know, with a really good coach, you know, so. It was just it was just a good game plan by them, um, and just we just willed a, a win. So but yeah, how good does it feel, you know, to get this win on Kansas after Man. you know last year missing out on it twice? It feels good uh, just to know that you know we had a shot last year at beating them um, up 17, and now finally getting it done. It, it feels really good. Yeah, Keontae, did you give Wilson a jab step or anything to set up the dunk? Uh, no, nah, I mean, just planting my foot. Just try to spin real fast as I could and focus on catching it. I mean, I missed the game winning layup, so I had to do something. How much was getting to the rim part of the game plan tonight? Um, I mean, we was trying to – that was a big thing for this game, we were trying to get to the line. So we just wanted to attack the rim as much as we can, try to draw fouls. And I feel like we did a good job. And overtime, we went to the line with nine, ten times, and we went nine for ten on the free throw line. So just making free throws down the clutch was big for us. And Desi, it appeared early, especially that you guys uh, concentrated on spreading the floor, much like Iowa State did. Um, yeah, we knew they was gonna key in on Marquise and um, Keontae because they were, a lot of teams been doing that, trying to trying to take him out of the game, trying to make everybody else make the play. So we worked all week um, on the ball screen and different stuff to to take advantage of to get the open shots. <clears throat> Man. God, I can't tell you, a lot of people, this might be their first time in America watching K-State play basketball. What would you like America to know about this team? Uh, definitely one of the toughest teams out here. Um, we all have fun together, and we celebrate each other. We don't hate whoever is the leading scorer or whoever's day it is. I mean, if it's your day, we want you to keep going. And just We bring a lot of confidence in each other, and that's why I feel like we play uh, good together. And Marquise, uh, Coach Self was in here a little bit ago, and he kind of kind of mentioned uh, Coach Tang and Big 12, possible Big 12 Coach of the Year, possible National Coach of the Year type of deal. Um, just what are your thoughts on being coached by Coach Tang, and what makes him such a good coach? That's a good question, man. He's if y'all if y'all see who he is every day, like. It's, it's so much knowledge that he's passing down just outside of basketball. Um, he teaches a lot of life lessons. He's a really good man. Uh, he teaches you about God and just love and how it's not just about um, just getting like, you know, the little things like 
these little wins. It's about the bigger picture and, and knowing that, you know, you're supposed to have success. And that's what he's been trying to, you know, emphasize, like, you know, we're we, we supposed to win these type of games. We're supposed to win national championships. And just being around him is just a, it's, it's a, it's a joy because um, I'm learning. I'm pretty sure these guys is learning from, from him each and every day. And he's, I mean, he's different. That's all I got to say. Desi and Keontae, this question is for you guys because I have a feeling Marquise yeah. kind of understands this already. But just could you feel how important that game was to the fans when you were out there tonight? Yeah, I mean, especially when we came out the warm-ups, usually it wasn't that – like when we come out, it don't usually be that packed. So the first time we came out, I seen it, I seen it was like a big thing for them. And then right before tip-off, we felt the energy and just wanted to feed off of that and just thank, thanking the fans for coming out to the game and giving us that boost that we needed today. I just feel like we got one of the best fans in the country. I mean, we feed off them, the energy, the, the enthusiasm they give us. I feel like it, 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 it go over onto the court. You know, we really appreciate them for coming out, and I hope they come out every game like that. Mm -hmm. That's a big part of this dub. And Marquise, just what are your emotions? Uh, I know Grant asked a little bit earlier, but <clears throat> when, when you see all the students come rushing out on the floor when that clock hits zero, just knowing the journey that you've been on, um, how, how good does that, does that feel? It feels pretty good. Uh, I stood all summer. You know, getting better on my game. Uh, we was down to two people just last year. Um, and to see that, you know, things come full circle, um, it's just incredible. Uh, but I'm really happy for these guys to experience and feel what it's like to be, you know, a part of K-State. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy for Coach Tang and his coaching staff to feel, you know, what K-State uh, is all about. Um, but, yeah, it's just it's a great feeling, man. Um, Got to give all the honor and glory to, to the man above and to the men behind the scenes, you know, preparing a game plan for us to win. Marquise, what, what do you think makes Desi such a good sixth man? <clears throat> he's not even a sixth man. He's, he's a starter that just comes off the bench, really. Um, but he brings so much energy and passion to the game that, that we need. He brings a spark um, that, 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 yeah, we need. Um, he. He had 24 big points today. Um, he showed up, and that's what he, he does in big time moments. He show up. Um, you know you can always count on him to have your back in any situation, and that's what he really brings. Um, we, 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 we are glad to really have Desi. And Keontae, I wanted to uh, know, what did, you, what did you think about Coach's statement there after the game, expect to win, no more court stormings? What, what do you think when your coach comes out and says that? Um, I mean, Coach Stanley first came here, he said he wanted to elevate the program. so. I feel like that's a part of his saying of elevating. I mean, we got to expect in order to elevate, we have to win games. And the fans, having the fans here just help us win, win, win. Like, he didn't want this game to be all packed out just because we're playing KU. He wanted to show that, like, how hard work we've been working and how our game can, I guess, like, show out. I mean, really just show everybody what we're capable of doing. So just trying to go out there and just playing fun is just really a big thing for us. You know, I know a uh, three zero, Big Twelve in overtime. How do you guys stay mentally locked in for that full forty five? I'm um, just coming in Thursday. We have Thursday is a day that we can focus on ourselves. So just going there, just watching film and learn from the mistakes we had, and then just get ready for Texas Tech this weekend. Yeah, Texas Tech Saturday, and just moving on. Like this game over with now, so we can celebrate a little bit longer. But by tomorrow, everybody else should have their mindset ready for the next game. Marquise, how great was it to make such a big impact on that final play, the alley-oop? Uh, I mean, it was big. You know, we, we knew how important this game is to, you know, everybody in K-State. Um, and we knew how important this game was to, for, for the coaching staff and for our brothers. We didn't want to lose um, on our home court. And, you know, we, we played like that on the last play. Uh, I seen, you know, DeWan drive left um, and just I try to stick my hand in. For the for the loose ball, and it hit his leg, and I was just when I seen it on the floor, and there was no possible way he could get a shot up. You know, I just I was happy. So. You know, yeah, now he's very energetic. Um, he likes to get everybody involved around him. He's a happy man. So, just saying that, I wasn't surprised, but I never seen a coach do that in person. So it was like it was definitely. <laughs> Uh, I didn't know if I wanted to stand on the <laughs> – if they were going to allow me to stand on the, um, the, the, the table, table or not. But 
Yeah. So I just did it anyway. Just because. <laughs> We, we, we got his back. So yeah. once I st- saw him standing on the table, I went right behind and stood on the table. Fact, so. I ain't going to tell him to get off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Marquise, can you take us through the final defensive possession where, where, where Ish gets to steal, steal to steal it? Uh, we knew that they were probably going to Jalen. So we tried to make it, you know, a tough catch. Uh, he's, what, he had 38 today. Yeah, so we tried to deny him the ball and make somebody else beat us. Um, and we did a pretty good job of that. And, you know, DeWan was driving left, um, and we just knew personnel. Uh, just stay attached to, to, to Jalen and make, you know, somebody else shoot it. And he drove left. I stuck my hand in. Ish dove on the floor like he's been doing these last couple of games. He, he came up with a big time steal. So Ish played really good. He came in with some really good energy, some, some big time rebounds. And so, yeah. He, and then Keontae, at the, the very, very end, you, you, you threw the ball up in the air once you knew that it was over. How, how good did that feel? Oh, it felt amazing. I mean, I seen when it just got to steal, he looked right at me. I just, I seen like two seconds left, so I threw it up in the air. There's no chance they can get it. And once I knew it was over with, I seen the fans come in. It's just a blessing just to show how our work is finally paving off and just how much we've been through staying together, really. The um, post up, spin, lob. Is that something you guys? When was the first time you did that? Like, was it in practice yeah. or was it a play call? Like, or, like, does, is that something that you guys just did in practice and like it turned? Yeah, no, it wasn't. It wasn't like a fluke play. Like, that's something. That's like an option in the play call. Mm-hmm. Either I can just. I didn't have to spin, but I felt like he was overplaying it, so the spin was the only option for me to do it, and I just did it at that time. I told him right before the timeout that I was going to do it, and if it wasn't open, I was going to come set a screen, and he threw it, made the eye contact, threw it, and I had to make a play. What kind of balls does it take to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it takes a lot of me. He did it uh, with Oklahoma State, so you can't, you can't really second guess it. You just gotta go with the moment. Jesse, you've been, really been finding your shot lately. Uh, what's going into that? I've been in the gym, trusting my shot, trusting my work. Um, Marquise Noel always says, just believe in yourself. You put in the work just as much as I do, you know. And he said, just stay confident, just be ready. He gonna find me, and so when he now nah, I just stay ready, so I don't have to get ready. It's a fight. I mean, it's good. You know, I kind of was expecting this because, like Coach Tang says, like he he gives you that confidence to know like you, you will win every game. And, you know, you throughout the game, you just try to stay focused one play at a time. You try to just, you know, stay the course. But once that final buzzer went off, I just, you know, I was just happy because I, I knew the journey it took for, you know, this program. Um, I, I wanted Coach Tang to be here as a head coach. Uh, so I, I wrote, you know, Gene Taylor, and he, he, he changed the program around with, with choosing Coach Tang. And he he has elevated you know this program to what it is now, and it's gonna get even better. So. Since you wrote Gene Taylor that you wanted Coach Tang to be that coach, what prompted that? Can you take me through that story? I guess. Just uh, so last year when I knew you know Coach Weber wasn't gonna be the coach no more, I studied you know different coaches on the sideline, and I always seen this one guy standing up and bending down in a certain you know stance. I'm like, who is this guy? Like, so I, I looked up, you know, his information, and he was 19 years at Baylor, won the national championship, won multiple Big 12 championships. So I, I just, me and my brother talked about it. Like, man, we need, you know, Jerome Tang to be our head coach. Like, all the guys, you know, gravitated to him on Baylor, and sent the text message. And before you know it, like a couple days after, Coach Tang was our head coach. You know, I just thanked, you know, uh, Mr. Gene Taylor for, for allowing that to happen for us. One more, did Gene Taylor respond to your text message? And what did he say if he did uh, I actually got the text. I just sent it the other day. <laughs> oh, yeah, he thumbs up it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so that, that was his way of responding, so, yeah. For sure, it wasn't really like, 
it it was more about you know our guys just playing a way you know that we are capable of because of last game I don't feel like we executed the game plan how we you know were capable of doing um, and I just wanted us to come out and play with passion and play hard um, ignore all the distractions even though it's you know K State versus KU and I feel like we did that we did that pretty good um, and I was happy with that man uh, the the dub didn't make you know us national champions. It didn't give us a Big 12 title. So win or lose, you know, it, it is really just one win or one loss. So I just try to focus on that and you know just yeah. When when it did happen, when we did win, you know, I was able to celebrate. But like he said, uh, after tonight and tomorrow, we we back to to the drawing board and focusing on Texas Tech. Sophie not gonna say nothing. Gilbert not gonna say nothing.